In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the cross or Y cross concept out of uh, tight end deep out in the U trips formation. This is a great man beater. It's a great zone beater. We're going to show you a couple different variations of how to run the cross concept. You can actually run it in multiple ways. What I love about U trips is it's so balanced when it comes to spacing. Now, if you want to learn how I run the entire offense, make sure you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description of the video for just ten dollars you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including uh, my U trips offense so make sure that you join the patreon if you want to check that out all right guys so a couple things here real quick that i want to talk about in terms of how you want to be running your y cross concept there's several different ways in which we can run it we'll show you stutter curl seam double ends but the main one is tight end deep out uh, and it's just because it's going to space the field really 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 well now you there are y cross concepts that are better against man and then there's y cross concepts that are better against zone we're going to show you the first one's going to be a little better against zone the second one's probably going to be a little better uh, against man so keep that in mind all right so tight end deep out first and foremost like i said i want to show it uh, primarily as a zone beater we'll get to man coverage in a second um, but what we're going to do to set this up is we're going to put our tight end on an out route we're going to put our slot receiver on a curl and then we're just going to motion the slot across this is why this is better against zone because why we're utilizing this curl route and we've got this quick out route. Now the quick out route is our primary read um, against man coverage. So if they do happen to be in man coverage, we've got a couple of reads that I wanna share with you. The first one is this five yard out route to the tight end. It's one of the best man beaters in the game. As you can see right there, just pass lead that to the outside. That's about a 15 to 20 yard gain every single time against man coverage. What that does is it forces them to have to drop some help get some help for that route now what you're going to get is if they're not putting safety help over the top your little glitchy fade here can actually burn man coverage over the top especially if you have this short out elite ability so you've got a man beater in that sense as well and so what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to drop a lot of help on the right side it might look like this it might look like you know this right but they're gonna have to have some help so they drop themselves some help on that right hand side probably realistically they're probably gonna drop at least two zones so what this does is on the back side now we're able to attack main coverage with this route to CD lamb uh, you'll see right here cross this is the primary crossing if you will route uh, in the play crossers in general um, aren't that great this year post routes are better but they still kind of attack the same basic area now where this play really shines is against zone coverage because they're going to have to play hard flash to stop your tight end out route and your running back route and what this is going to do is it's going to open up this little curl right in this little pocket right here as you can see that little curl to the slot is really a key read uh, against man in zone coverages. Now, the other thing that we're going to be able to do is let's say that they're playing uh, some double flatting and they're running like a cover two with it. Most people this year, if they're going to run Mabel, they're probably going to run cover two. This fade route to the circle receiver kind of fades to the outside. So you can free form that up into the outside and give yourself a shot. Um, that's typically never, I've never had that route intercepted throwing it against a cover two. Okay. I've never had it intercepted. Now I have it. It doesn't, he doesn't always catch it, um, but I've also never had it picked. So it's a shot route against cover two. You can also table route your back if you want it to be a little bit more consistent. The other thing that's nice about this is you see how that curl sits against double Mabel really, really well. So you're, you're not going to have to worry. A lot of people really what they do is they'll end up doing something like this oftentimes, right? The problem is, and their thought process is, they're going to come over here and use her. Well, they're going to have to use her this post route to uh, CD Lamb, the, the Y cross, if you will. Um, they're going to have to use her that route, which is then going to make this curl just absolute money because this flat's going to pull the flat zones out, and then you're going to step up and you're going to throw the curl route for easy yardage, right? And you're going to do that for literally every zone in the game. Now, if they don't go guard CD Lamb, um, the beauty of the Y cross route is that it literally has to be usered. It is It has to be usered pretty much the entire way across the formation. If they choose not to go guard it, 
even against cover four, cover three, cover two, it doesn't matter. You're going to be able to hit that post over and over and over again. Okay, so very simple read. Now I want to show you how to run the same basic concept without having to use motion. Um, stutter curl seam. All we're going to do is we're going to streak the solo receiver. We're going to flat the outside or the slot receiver. And then we're going to deep or smart routed in the backside receiver. This is going to be a little bit better against man, but still good against zone. Now you have this tight end crosser, as like your Y cross. And that route specifically is really good um, against man, right? Because we've been attacking the flats to the right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run stutter curl seam. And we're going to attack the left side now. So you'll see here, watch the tight end crosser. U-Trips has a really good tight end crosser, as you can see. Make sure when you put your um, when you run stutter curl seam, I think it makes a lot of sense to re-out route your running back. But just, just give it a little sharper cut. Um, you don't have to do that, but it is something uh, that I like to do. So just keep that in mind. The other thing is um, this, this dig route, right? Remember, we talked about them having a provide some kind of safety help to the right side. So they're going to have to have, you know, help over there, which takes help out of the middle of the field. And that's where Michael Thomas is going to be able to break inside on that dig and really give some problems. Now, the last uh, Y cross type concept that I wanted to go over with you is this one out of double ends, um, which is really good as well. Uh, what you're going to do with this one is this route to Michael Thomas is going to serve as a really unique curl route. And then you're going to have CeeDee Lamb on that Y cross, and then you're going to streak Brown just like this. The beauty of this is this is just a different look, but this route to Michael Thomas is basically a post-curl route that's going to get in a really soft spot regardless of the zone coverage that they're playing, and just makes this play that much more powerful. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to learn more about the U-Trips offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link's in the description. $10 will get you access to all of our Band 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video, and make sure to go join the Patreon down below.